Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. The 2025 Ford Maverick has finally been revealed. We're no longer looking at spy photos and we're no longer talking rumors. We're gonna talk about what's new and what isn't. The refreshed 2025 Ford Maverick is finally revealed and order blanks are now open. A number of long asked for additions and updates have come along, along with some unexpected surprises. Fresh style, more tech, new powertrain choices, and new trim grades top the list. The biggest news for 2025 is the addition of all-wheel drive for the hybrid. It's finally here and available on XL, XLT, and standard on Lariat trims. The system uses the same 2.5 liter Atkinson cycle engine and two motor electronic variable transmission as the front wheel drive model and comes with a rating of 191 combined system horsepower and 155 pound feet of torque. It features a conventional all wheel drive system identical to that found in the EcoBoost models with mechanical drive shaft to a rear axle differential. That means clicking this box gets you an independent rear suspension as opposed to the twist beam axle found in front wheel drive hybrids. Fuel economy doesn't seem to get hit too badly by adding all wheel drive either. Ford says the front wheel drive model continues into 2025 with a 42 miles per gallon city rating and the new all wheel drive model targeting 40 miles per gallon city. To learn more about how it all works, we have a deep dive video on the Maverick all wheel drive hybrid powertrain on our Maverick playlist. That's linked down below, as well as at the end of the video. Icing on the cake? Yeah! You can even order the 4K tow package previously reserved for the EcoBoost engines with the new hybrid all-wheel drive. With increased cooling capacity, the package doubles the standard tow rating of 2,000 pounds. Now you can truly have your cake and eat it too. In the grand scheme of ordering and purchasing, it's worth noting that the hybrid powertrain and front-wheel drive is now standard again, no longer an extra cost option. To those wanting to step up to the 2 liter EcoBoost engine, a few change-ups have happened here, both in price and in configuration. First and foremost, the EcoBoost front-wheel drive option has been dropped and the engine now only comes with all-wheel drive. This means there's a price bump in some trims because you're adding all-wheel drive into the mix. It comes mated to the same 8-speed automatic for all models except the new Lobo, which gets a 7-speed variation of the same gearbox. Notable for all EcoBoost models is a slight decrease in horsepower and torque numbers from last year due to emissions-related factors. Output is downrated to 238 horsepower from 250, torque now at 275 pound-feet instead of 277. The second big news is that Ford finally ditched the small screen infotainment system and offset cubbyhole for a full width 13.2 inch fully integrated touchscreen. The new SYNC 4 base system is now standard in all trims and has a comprehensive list of features that go well beyond the troublesome old unit in the 2022 to 2024 models. These are wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, enhanced voice recognition and available connected navigation in addition to its standard Bluetooth connectivity. There's now a standard built-in 5G modem and hotspot. An upgraded B&O audio backend with subwoofer is added on trims Lariat, Tremor and Lobo. The larger screen now affords the capability of a new 360 degree camera system on higher trim grades. There's even a version of the Pro Trailer Hitch Assist and Pro Trailer Backup Assist that have been popular on the F-150, now standard on higher trims. Unpopular for some, however, is that the climate controls are now moved up to the new touchscreen on all trim grades, eliminating most of the hard controls previously found on the lower center stack binnacle. The steering wheel still features a comprehensive collection of controls for audio, cruise, and the instrument cluster, though. Ahead of the driver, that instrument cluster is now a fully customizable 8-inch digital screen on all trim grades with an analog style gauge for fuel level and coolant temperature on either side. The graphics layout and feature content get changed up depending on which trim grade you choose. By now, you've already seen the modest styling updates, they speak for themselves. For its mid-cycle refresh, the 2025 Maverick gets new front fascias and grills that vary across the range of trim grades, so there's more visual differentiation from base XL to the top trims. 
Redesigned standard LED headlights have a dark appearance and higher level trims have more advanced LED projectors and LED signature lighting. Body trims down the side and rear bumper fascia design along with the sheet metal stampings remain identical to 2022 and 2024 models. There are new wheels added here and there, including a handsome machine face 19-inch design on the Lariat. The optional black package available with XLT and Lariat gets 19-inch gloss black wheels, a unique grille, a black roof, and black Ford badges. The new Lobo trim grade also adds two available 19-inch wheel choices. XL, XLT, FX4, and Tremor continue with the same wheel designs as before. The basic cabin design remains identical to the 2022-2024 Maverick with exception to the addition of the aforementioned new digital screens and controls. Carried over is the loved or hated mandatory Navy Pier base interior color scheme. There are, however, new bright accent colors and shades added to the crinkle geometric pattern dash and door trims. With the XL, the colors and textures are largely the same as the previous models, with black onyx cloth, gray trims, and navy pier background plastics. Seating cloth gets a new pattern on the lighter cushion areas and center console lid now gets cloth material. XLT though gets a new scheme of aspen gray two-tone cloth seating with new patterns and grabber blue accent stitching. The loved or hated plastic orange accents on the vents and center console are gone, now replaced with, you guessed it, grabber blue. The speckled light color dash and door panel trims are carried over. Lariat, it features a new smoke truffle and navy pier upholstery with grabber blue and bronze accent stitching. While it looks like leather, seating trim is Active X, which is vinyl. Dash and door panel trim are now a slightly darker earth tone shade of the same speckled plastic found in the XLT, and accent plastics are an orange like bronze color. If you option the black package on the XLT or the Lariat, the seats become black onyx cloth or Active X, and brightly colored plastic trim accents give way to blacks and grays like found in the XL. Tremor and Lobo trim grades feature black interior seating upholstery in Active X, gray dash and door plastic trims from the XL, and unique accent stitching colors along with Navy Pier background plastics. One item that people have been asking for since the Maverick's introduction is a split folding lower cushion for the rear seat storage. It, however, remains a single piece. In addition to the standard XL, XLT, and Lariat trim grades, there are two new choices for 2025. The Tremor off-road variant, which used to be an option package to add to the XLT or Lariat, is now its own standalone trim grade. Based on the Lariat trim grade level of features, the Tremor now includes all of the same off-road features like its advanced all-wheel drive system and raised ride height off-road suspension. New for 2025 are unique rocker graphics and paddle shifters added to the steering wheel for its 8-speed automatic. The hottest news is the addition of the new Maverick Lobo sport truck, also starting with the Lariat trim grade as a feature content baseline. At the top of the trim grade ladder, the new Lobo has been the worst kept secret as spy photos and rumors of a performance version of the truck have been circulating for years. Center stage are a lower performance suspension, more powerful brake calipers, a performance oriented 7 speed automatic with paddle shifters, and an electronically augmented exhaust sound. There's also a more advanced all wheel drive system that offers torque vectoring courtesy of some of the parts bin items from the Tremor. It, however, features the same 238 horsepower 2 liter EcoBoost engine as other Mavericks. Perhaps disappointing to those who are expecting perhaps the larger 2.3 liter engine or something else. Visuals include body color lower fascias and lower rocker trims, a unique front fascia and grille, fog lights, and turbofan style 19 inch wheels in gloss black. If the wheels are a bit too much for you, don't worry, there's a more conventionally styled 19 inch wheel option. We have a complete deep dive video into the 2025 Maverick Lobo explaining all of its technical features and trims on our Maverick playlist. When it comes to paint shades, the long ask for Eruption Green finally comes to the Maverick in spite of its navy blue interior color. The rich golden glow shade of metallic green has been enormously popular with the Bronco, Bronco Sport, and other Ford vehicles. Oddly enough, it's not an extra charge color. Also new is Space White Metallic, which is a silvery pearl white, essentially white with a more premium look. Again, no extra charge. Ruby red metallic tinted clear coat seen on other popular Ford models joins the palette, but is an extra cost option. And lastly, the bright and electric shade of Velocity Blue has returned to the Maverick for 2025. Colors carried over from last year include Shadow Black, Oxford White, Carbonized Gray Metallic, Desert Sand, and the optional shade of Azure Gray. 
Deleted colors include Atlas Blue, Cactus Gray, Hot Pepper Red Metallic, and Iconic Silver. The old saw will continue to grind. Prices keep going up. If it's rolling off your lips, just stop it. Prices go up. They have since the beginning of time. A Ford Model T 100 years ago was only $290. So just stop with the carping about prices ever going higher. It's been happening and it always will. With respect to the Maverick, starting MSRP for a 2025 XL Hybrid front wheel drive is now $26,295. That's an $875 increase over the same exact model of 2024. Actually, it's not that unreasonable a price increase considering the new levels of standard equipment inside and the new passive safety tech. Prices across the range rise as well, with the XLT Hybrid starting at $28,795. Lariat Hybrid sees a larger price increase because all-wheel drive is made standard and now begins at $36,735. Tremor is now based on the Lariat trim levels and is $39,795. Lobo? It's the most expensive Maverick ever at $40,495 for a starting price. Add to all of the pricing discussed here a $1,595 destination fee. Of note, stepping up to the EcoBoost engine on XL and XLT is now a more expensive proposition than before because it's bundled with mandatory all-wheel drive. The uptick on both trim grades is $1,020. If you choose the Lariat, however, selecting EcoBoost is actually a $1,200 deduct, making it less expensive than the hybrid. The 2025 Ford Maverick lineup is now available to order at your local dealership with first production models to roll off the line this fall. First deliveries of all models except the Lobo are expected to begin arriving late in 2024. Maverick Lobo production and delivery comes later with first arrivals sometime early in 2025. All right, my friends, there you have it, the 2025 Ford Maverick. Most of the updates we predicted in one of our videos earlier this year have come true, pretty much everything. And I think the biggest takeaways here are the new Maverick hybrid all-wheel drive, the new infotainment system, and of course, the Lobo. That, that's something we were expecting, and I think it's going to offer a very exciting option for those who want to spend up a little bit and get something a little different than what's been offered. The Tremor's out there, and the hybrids out there, so you can have a fuel saving off-road, you can have an off-road bonkers, you can have a street truck performance theme. There's a number of ways to go. Now, obviously a test drive is in order. I can't wait. We'll probably see the Maverick hybrid all-wheel drive first, and we'll take that off-roading in the desert and see how it works. And we'll probably also see the Lobo because it's got its own drivetrain and suspension and all of that. Any other model that you're looking at or thinking about, the XL, XLT, Lariat with EcoBoost or Hybrid front wheel drive, you can look to any other test drive on the internet out there, including ours, hopefully ours, to get an idea of what those are gonna drive like because they're identical. Mechanically, nut and bolt, the 2022 to 2024 models are mechanically identical to the 2025 for the most part. So those test drives are going to apply. The only big difference is gonna be how the infotainment works and how the Lobo and the Maverick Hybrid all-wheel drive drive. And so hopefully those test drives come soon. As I mentioned, we have videos that do deep dives into the Lobo, the uh, actually how the hybrid works with the new all-wheel drive system and the trim grades. And you can see all of that on our Maverick playlist right there. One of the largest Maverick playlists in all of YouTube. I'm very proud of that. We've done a lot of work there. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and stay informed of everything we do. Either way, stay tuned.